When I was a child, I was a huge fan of Ray William Johnson's Equals 3. I watched every single episode of Equals 3 and thought it was hilarious, as embarrassing as that is to say in 2021. However, there was one episode that terrified me as a child and traumatised me for years. I couldn't bring myself to watch this episode until I was about 16. That 2011 episode of Equals 3 was called The Dark Side and featured this video. I can't wait to put it in my mouth Pop my crap in my ass I'm so horny I could choke and choke on a car tonight I was nine years old when I saw that. Do you have any idea what that does to you mentally? I don't even want to know what part of my psychosexual development this fucked up. This is Tonetta, and despite the fact that as a child Tonetta disturbed me, I can safely say that as of right now, Tonetta is one of my favourite artists of all time, and this is his story. Tonetta, whose real name is Anthony Jeffrey, was born on February 17th, 1949. Tonetta left school at around 14 to go to a trade school because he was, quote, better with his hands. Tony got an apprenticeship as a carpenter, making furniture and gave all the money he made to his mother, who promised to buy him a motorcycle when he was 16, which he did. Tonetta continued down this career path for a while and eventually got married and had two children. He was also interested in music and used to play music with his brother in a sound room he made in his house, something Tony's ex-wife did not approve of. Tony has mentioned that when him and his wife separated, the only thing he took with him from their home is his guitar. Tony separated from his wife in 1983 after a very unhappy marriage and has not seen his wife or his two children since 1983 when they were 10 and 8 years old. Also around this time, Tony ran into problems with his physical health when his appendix burst after mixing alcohol with medication which caused him to collapse in a strip club. Tony said that after this mixture of physical health problems with his appendix and mental health problems with the toll the separation from his wife was taking on him, he pretty much had a nervous breakdown. Tony has also claimed that somewhere around this time in his life he refused to sleep for three weeks because he felt like if he went to sleep he would die. He recalls that somewhere around the three week mark with no sleep, the spirit of John Lennon went into him. When this happened, Tony began living as a recluse and recording his music on cassette tapes and VHS tapes in the early 80s. Tony used to hand out tapes in downtown Toronto to passers-by and rent movies in video stores and tape over the end of the videos with his own music. He said he put the videos in there as a surprise for the people renting the videos. That's like the 80s version of Soulja Boy putting his music up on LimeWire under the names of popular songs at the time. Boy, what I wouldn't give to rent a copy of Scareface from an 80s Toronto video store just to have the video for a small cock big heart to pop up after watching Al Pacino fall to his death. This unusual method of music promotion did make Tony kind of a cult figure in Toronto, but it wasn't until years later in 2008 when Tony started uploading Tonetta music to YouTube that his status went from a mysterious cult figure in the Toronto music scene to an internet legend. Tonetta said that while trying to promote his music around Toronto that people suggested to him that he should upload his music to YouTube. Tonetta at the time was a 60 year old recluse and had absolutely no idea what YouTube was. He began to pay someone to make a channel for him and upload videos for him. He apparently used to pay someone $10 for every video they uploaded to YouTube and given how Tonetta has literally hundreds of songs that person he was paying must have been the luckiest person in the fucking world. Given how odd Tony's music videos are with the creepy masks and the cloth backgrounds and the male nudity, it isn't hard to imagine why Tony garnered a following in the days of early 2010s YouTube. It also helps that Tony has made a ton of genuinely very enjoyable lo-fi rock bangers like Drugs Drugs Drugs, Really Big Cock, My Bro, Lady Gaga and my personal favourite, Rape Victim. However, this audience would go from rather small to huge when Ray William Johnson featured the music video for Tonetta's song Pressure Zone in a 2011 episode of Equals 3. For anyone who wasn't on YouTube during that era, I don't think you'll truly understand how big of a deal it was to be a small content creator that got featured on Ray William Johnson's channel. At the time, Ray William Johnson was arguably the biggest YouTuber on the platform. 
You gotta understand that Ray released the episode of Equals 3 that features Tonetta in April of 2011 and in June of 2011 Ray William Johnson became the number one most subscribed YouTube channel on the platform so this was absolutely huge for Tony. After this the video for Pressure Zone amassed millions of views and more and more people started to get into Tonetta's music. I would consider this the number one highlight of Tonetta's music career. Tonetta is no stranger to critical acclaim either. Anthony Fantano of The Needle Drop gave his album 777 Volume 1 a positive review and made it very clear throughout the review that he's a huge fan of Tonetta's music. I'm kind of feeling a decent six on this thing. I'm liking it, but it's not blowing my mind by a long shot. However, if I could take my all-time favorite Tonetta songs and put them on an album, you know, swap out the tracks on here I didn't like and just kind of make my favorite Tonetta mix, I would score it way, 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 way higher. Writer for The Guardian, Johnny D, has also praised Tonetta in an article appropriately titled Taking Over YouTube, The Irresistible Rise of Tonetta. In the article, D writes, For every YouTube comment that finds Tonetta hilarious or repellent, there are dozens from people who have discovered that Beyond the Shock Value is a genuine outsider pop artist. MIA, Lady Gaga, and Katy Perry have all successfully courted controversy lately, but Tonetta is the real deal. A pop revolutionary who doesn't give a damn about making money or what people think of him. Punk lives and it's wearing a thong on YouTube. I couldn't have put it better myself. I, like so many others, love Tonetta. He's made some of my favorite music of all time and I hope that he has many more great songs to write. This man is an enigma, and while his music videos can be seen as really weird and deeply disturbing, beyond the cloth backgrounds and the cross-dressing, is someone I think of as one of the last true artists. I'm gonna wrap things up here, but yeah, I love Tonetta, and you should too.